Hi, Greenwood friends. Welcome back. I'm so glad to see you. Some of you I've even had the chance to see at church on Sundays, which has been so fun. And I know soon we're hopefully going to be all be able to gather together. But today we get to focus again on a letter that is in this amazing book. Do you know what this book is called that has all of the promises and truths about God? What, what is it called? That's right, it's the Bible. And we're gonna be reading some more and learning some more about um, Paul's letter to the Philippians. And it's in the book of Philippians in our Bible, in the New Testament, so it's near the back of the Bible. So Paul, Paul is a missionary who is trying to help other believers, other Christians follow Jesus. Does anyone remember what is happening to Paul right now? Where is he? If you said he's in prison or in jail, you're right. He was put in prison and he was having to suffer even though he didn't do anything wrong. But what's even more amazing is even in prison, he could choose to be joyful. And that is our heart print. I can choose to be joyful. Good job. And so Paul talked a lot about the fact that we can choose to be joyful by loving other Christians. And that's what Paul was doing as he wrote letters to the people of Philippi and about focusing on Jesus. Can you make a little focus and look up so we can focus on Jesus? And then he gave them some more tools of how to be joyful or how to focus on Jesus and then therefore be joyful. Does anyone remember, what does joy mean? What does joy mean? Can you tell me what it, you think it means? So joy is the peace and happiness that we can get only from God. So it comes from God. It's a beautiful, special gift that we get from God. And it happens when we follow Jesus. And so a way, there's several ways that Paul tells the people of Philippi that they can follow Jesus and therefore be joyful. One is that they can read all of the lessons of God and Jesus that were available, like the letter from Paul. We are so lucky because we can read the Bible and we can read it and learn all the stories and truths about God and Jesus. And we can learn how much in this book, we can learn about how much he loves us and how much he cares for his people. And we can also learn about how he lived his life and we can try to live that way too. So one way that we can follow Jesus and be joyful is to read our Bible. So make a little book and pretend you're reading your Bible. Another thing that we can do is that we can pray to God and Jesus and we can tell them all of our worries and we can say thank you for everything that you've given me and we can put all of the control into Jesus and God's hands. So let's make, let's pray. Good, so we can read the Bible and we can pray to Jesus. And then the other thing we can do is we can think good thoughts. So put your hand here and think good thoughts. So we can choose the thoughts that go into our mind and we can say, I choose to think about Jesus and love and all of the wonderful creations and gifts that God has given me, even in hard times. So think good thoughts. So we can read our Bible. We can pray. We can think good thoughts. And we can choose joy. What do you think? Are you gonna try those things? Are you gonna think good thoughts and pray and read your Bible? That is amazing. Let's sing our song that helps us remember our heart print. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again I say rejoice. 
Rejoice in the Lord always. Again I say rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice, again I say rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice, again I say rejoice. Way to go guys. Let's say our heart print one more time. I can choose to be joyful. Let's pray. Open and shut then, open and shut then. Give your hands a clap. Open and shut them, open and shut them. Lay them in your lap. Dear God, thank you for allowing me to always be joyful and for all of the lessons of Paul about how I can show joy. We love you. Amen. Bye, friends.